Diana Enjai with The Wheel to Adorn, and then Margaret Schmiel and Ashley Dees with Shutterbugs. And um, I want to say that I'm here with Samantha Russell Port, who is um, one of our super interns who's been working um, on the Will to Dawn project. My name is Diana Njai, and I'm a curator um, at the Center for Folklife and Cultural Heritage and a um, and the principal investigator for the Will to Adorn project. And um, let me see. Okay. Um, the Will to is that good? Okay, great. Um, so the Will to Adorn project, um, before becoming an app or besides becoming an app, is oh, sorry about that. Okay, uh, is a um, multifaceted research and education project that um, is basically a, um, a about, in terms of content, looking at the diversity of the African American community through the lens of dress. So it's looking at diversity and identity. It's both, it has a lot of different components, but basically research and education. Uh, research and uh, presentation are the two aspects. And um, when I heard about um, the possibility of of an app for research as a research tool um, uh, through Halsey Burgund and uh, Nancy Proctor it was very very exciting because a lot of the project uh, relies on working with uh, people high school uh, through uh, college through uh, I guess professional scholars um, to look in nine cities at dress and adornment within the African American community, looking at different kinds of diversity, regional, um, ethnic, gender orientation, class, um, in many, many kinds of diversity. So this is, um, what is essential to it is looking at finding uh, communities of style within these communities, exemplars of style, who are the folks who um, represent their, their community's example for style, as well as artisans of style, people who make, you know, who do the hair, who do the clothing, who do the shoes, um, and artifacts. And we pretty much have had a technique to look, uh, we had procedures and approaches to do long-term interviews with artisans of style, but then you know we would see folks who were incredibly dressed, you know, on the metro or um, uh, on the mall or um, wherever, and we wanted to find a way to be able to ask folks whether they would um, talk about what they're wearing and why, um, or allow us to interview them, and so um, we have teams of uh, researchers in, in uh, New York, uh, Atlanta, Washington DC of course, New Orleans, um, let me see, US Virgin Islands, uh, St. Croix and St. Thomas, uh, Detroit, Chicago, Oakland, and I think I've gotten everybody. Huh? Providence. And Providence now. And we are working with Youth Access, we have a Youth Access Grant to train youth researchers to work um, on the will to adorn. So, whoops, there we go. Uh, the other, the other uh, part of this project is that we have a Ning site, which is a social media site, a proprietary social media site that allows uh, us to have uh, conversations between folks in all, at all these sites and uh, to post blogs, to post video, to post audio, as well as, um, as uh, visual materials. So um, I was in a, w Atlanta and uh, we had our cameras were, weren't working and so we said we, we would use, this is in 2011, and with the researcher we were at a hair show and uh, we weren't, we said well we'll have to take photographs um, you know, using our iPhones, which turned out to be great. 
and uh, we use a recording device. And then I said, wait a second, we really can use a uh, mobile device, and why don't we think about doing an app? And it's become really a very important part of our research project. So uh, I'm going to uh, walk. I'm going to ask um, Samantha to walk you a little bit through the app, which um, is essentially, you know, as it says here, uh, designed to collect stories about the choices we make every day when we dress for school, work, or special occasions. I think, and I did. Um, hi everyone. Again, I'm Samantha Russellport. Um, so yeah, basically the Will to Adorn app. It's designed so that you can go out and do your own interviews for dress and identity um, wherever you are, whether it's school, work, um, wherever you happen to be. I actually personally was able to use the app. Um, uh, as Diana said earlier, we work a lot with different communities and a lot of different schools, and I'm a graduate of one of the schools that she worked with. Uh, I graduated from Spelman College this past May, and I went back this past October for homecoming, and so it allowed me, or rather, I was given the task, I was given homework to go and use the app and um, talk to my friends and of people in different communities within the school, so classmates, alum, professors, and whomever. And um, I'm gonna walk you, th oh gosh, how do I use this? Scroll to the oh, wait, hold on. Oh, oh, that works better even. Oh my gosh, is it working? Okay, it's working, yay. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine, I, iPads confuse me. Um, so it is, it's very, very easy to use. Um, and from, for somebody who hadn't, who had literally downloaded the app as they were traveling to Atlanta, it was very easy and very self-explanatory. Um, and it's very similar to a lot of the other apps that um, others talked about earlier today. So you have the option to either tell your story or to listen. Um, did it move? OK, so before, um, it, so if you click the option to tell your story, the first thing that you will do is, as you said before, um, you go to the go through the agreement, what the app is about, what you're going to be doing, and knowing that the Smithsonian may or may not use it. And the person or the interviewee um, will hit agree or don't agree. And we all hope that we they pick agree. OK, so clearly only one finger, cool. And then um, the next step is if you want to add a story, they'll ask you um, about your gender. And as you see, they, we have more than just male, female, because a lot of people don't identify in just the spectrum of male and female. So we have male, female, trans, and others. And I think that's one of the, personally, I like that a lot about this app, that it gives people the option to be who they are and not have to um, stay in one in one category. And then you can pick your age range, so 15 through 19 and so on and so forth. Um, what part of the U.S. are you from or what part of the U.S. do you identify with? Um, so you can pick through that. And then we also have different prompts, so different questions. What are you wearing today? What does what you are wearing say who you are? Um, my personal favorite question, what will you never wear and why? Um, I actually had a lot of people answer that question. I got some very hilarious responses. So, um, and then you click the, or you tap the red button at the bottom. Um, and then you have two minutes to record, um, very simple. and very, very self-explanatory. Um, and if they like it, they can upload it immediately, or if they want to redo it, then they have that option as well. And then also we have the option that I just found out about today, which I think is really cool, is you can add a photo or you can add text to um, your recording. What we're working on now is being able to do a voiceover. So if you do decide to take a picture, you'll have that person's voice over their photo so you know what their 
uh, who is talking and what they're talking about, especially with the question of what are you wearing and you hear a male voice saying, oh, I'm wearing this, but then you see a picture of a female in a dress. It doesn't really make sense. So that's one of the things that we are working on as well. Um, and then you get this nice little thank you page, and then you also have the option to record again if you have more to say, or you can listen to what others have said previously. Um, so with the listen page, you um, essentially you just get to listen to what people have said previously, or if you are yourself deciding, well, I kind of want to say something, but I don't really know what to say, you can have, uh, you can listen to this as a way to kind of see what other people have said and get some ideas about what you can say for yourself. Um, you can refine your options. Um, it'll play, originally it'll just play for all of the different categories, but if you wanna just listen to, let's say, um, the 30 through 39 category, then you would just have, just have that box checked and uncheck all the rest of them, so that way you're only listening to responses from that category. Okay. Great, thank you. Yeah. So from a from an end user as well, and uh, and you know, so we have um, we were able to get this uh, done. And, and by the way, Halsey was incredible in terms of updating and and putting little new things in into the um, into the apps. And we're looking forward to using uh, Roundwear. Now that we've seen all the new kinds of things it can do, uh, one of the big challenges was uh, we had a very, very small budget and uh, we did not think about, okay, how do we keep it upgraded? How do we, um, you know, how do we put in things for if we want to do uh, new, uh, new things with the app? Uh, the other thing is that as a research tool, uh, we still have challenges in terms of how to access uh, the material. It's a, an incredible amount of data, and um, unfortunately I don't have the data stats for you uh, now. I'll have them by the afternoon, but um, we do know that uh, several groups of young people are using the app, and at this festival this summer, uh, actually it formed the basis for uh, one of our our uh, research tents at the Will to Adorn Festival program focused um, uh, on you know, the different aspects of the, fe of the research program and so we had people uh, going out uh, across the mall. Um, so um, one of the things that we've learned is uh, like W.C. Fields, everybody wants to get into the act and everybody can in terms of the importance of, you know, involving uh, people who are sort of citizen scholars or community scholars in, um, in being able to work on, on a Smithsonian project and really contribute uh, to, the, to the project. Uh, where we're going next, I mean, this is supposed to do something interesting. Uh, is that um, we would like to have uh, a, we'd like to find a way to get the web app going so that we're, we also can work with the computer. Um, we are working with other folks to, um, on Facebook. Okay, oh that's great. Um, we're working uh, to find ways that we can link it to our Facebook site. Uh, so it, it has been very, very valuable to us to have this app as an ongoing, very vital part of a research project. And that's it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>